Hey guys, I have a quick Amazon haul today. These are items that like are very coveted to me. So I wanted to show you where I got them. And I saw these, this section right here, Creative Young Mama did a haul. And if you're not familiar with her, you will love her channel. She's on Instagram and YouTube. Um, she found the Frappuccino cups. So she placed an order and when they arrived, she let everybody know. I just looked on Amazon. There's one left. K-O-O -O Book is the name of the company. It's the mini Frappuccino cup, 20 pieces for $10.99. So I, my concern with these was that they would get broken in shipping. They were packed and wrapped and rewrapped and wrapped again. There was only one boo-boo on one of them, and that to me looks like a manufacturer's defect. That does not look like, I mean, it's not, it's not bad. So that just looks like a manufacturer's defect. The star beads are from this store called the H-O-N-B-A-Y store. So the star beads are 54 pieces for $7.95. The candy beads are 78 pieces for $7.95. So the candy beads are a little bit smaller than the star beads. And the star beads, they, they kind of look faceted to me. Yeah, they're definitely faceted. I can see an etched out star right there. And I just absolutely love these. And sometimes you just... You don't want to wait. I think the price was good because I know these are a few dollars on AliExpress. I never saw these, but I'm sure they're on there. Um, but I had to wait a really long time to get these. So my bags were kind of banged up. So I just poured them out into some little ramekins. So you could, this to me looks like way more than 78 pieces. But I could be wrong. And this looks like way more than 54 pieces. I mean, it's a nice big plastic bag. And it has the name of the store written on it. And I like to be able to see my stuff. So in my quest for organization, if I get stuff out of the bags, I will. They'll be loose and I'll organize them. So just wanted to just show these gorgeous, gorgeous beads. And they this one has a hole on the top and on the bottom. This has a hole on the top and on the bottom, and it's identical to what I purchased from AliExpress and put on this little paper piercing tool that I made. So, perfect, perfect, perfect. I'm sure it's the same company. So, the next thing, I wanted to show these because I have seen people doing Happy Mail and putting all kinds of cute little sequins and things like that in this. And I honestly couldn't, this is an inch right here. I could not tell how big these are. I think things look bigger on, on um, YouTube. It's probably because it's on my television. So about one and a quarter in height. And then let's say the, I guess the width would be a little over one and a quarter. So... You know, of course, it's graduated down at the bottom. The diameter is a little less than an inch. These are darling, and I wondered if they would be cute hanging on my daughter's backpack. And I wondered what they'd look like filled with beads. So, I just want to do quick, 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 quick beads, and then I'll talk about the pens. Just kind of thought people would want to see. So, what you can do on Amazon is you can heart, if this does sell out, put a heart on it. And it should notify you when it comes back in stock. So let's see. That's really cute. Here, we'll use the little dinged up. See if it even makes a difference. Wouldn't you love to get this? Okay, now how does it go? So this is going to go just... Let's see, where is that? It's going to fit right in. For some reason, I can't ever see once once I get my camera on. Oh, here it is right there. Okay, so this. Oh my gosh, did you hear that? It clicks on. 
So, you, I mean, I'll keep this one as mine, but that's a darling to send in a happy mail. Oh my gosh, I love that. Let's see the height on this baby. Let's see, about two inches. Look at that. That really would be cute. Strung on a backpack. I have some little keychain, but I don't. Aha. Here's a little keychain I have. This is one of my daughter's toys. And this is much. I didn't know if they were going to be teeny like this or bigger. That's something from Five Below that Santa brought. Let's see. See if this fits. Oh, the little bead doesn't, the little bead piece doesn't fit through there. Well, now we know the diameter of that. So that's not quite as big as this because that fits right in there. All right, we will move on. We can put all kinds of cute ribbons and chain and all kinds of cute stuff through that because yeah, a chain would fit through that really nicely. Oh, I love it. 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 Okay. So, sit that like that. Move this aside. And these. These pens are P-A-S-I-S-B-I-C-K. Beatable pens. Literally listed as beatable pens. So, I grabbed a box of these and... You get 10 pens for $8.99. I mean, that's not a bad price. They are missing this part, so you can put the beads right on them. Now, I will say, these are all shiny metallic. And then these, so you get five and five, are all glitter. Love that. This, I'm going to make a Halloween pen. I'm just, oh, going to be so happy. This was my favorite color. It's a lilac. There's not a pink. This is kind of a rose. It's pretty. I think it'd be pretty once it's all blinged out. So I thought, why not go kind of elegant? Because I really liked these from my Hobby Lobby haul. And of course, this is one I didn't open. Oh my goodness. So everybody has to be careful because our craft supplies will get so damaged. I was so happy to see that these stayed intact and were not damaged. And I thought the price on these was very reasonable, especially seeing how, how many people want these. Okay. Let's just get an assortment of these out. Oh my gosh, they're pretty. That's good. All right. So you're supposed to be able to just unscrew this. I think you're supposed to kind of mess with this. Okay. And I'm not going to glue them because I'm not really feeling very committed to it right now. Not so we'll just kind of see how they look. I really want to use that one. And I like that better than that. But now clear might be pretty. These Hobby Lobby beads are nice. No, I like that better. Huh, look, they put in the gold mix. That is technically silver, I think. It might, yeah, that's technically silver. Now, I saw one. This must be this. Oh, no, this one's this glitter. Okay, let's just kind of slide a few on so we get the idea. Now, these are not giant bubblegum beads, but I could look at that. Oh, my gosh. That's really pretty, huh? Where should we put glitter? goodness. We'll just see how easy this is. Guys, that screwed right down. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Why is this bean stuff so easy? It's so beautiful and it is so easy. 
Oh my gosh. So let's just write something like, I heart you. These pens write amazing and they're lightweight. I don't know if they're metal or plastic. My assumption is they're light. They're plastic, but they really look like metal. Oh my gosh. Is that gorgeous or have I lost my mind? I absolutely love this. This is on there good. I kind of want to make another one. You know what? What color? I don't know how many I have. So I have an assortment. Okay, you guys are getting ready to see how my stuff is kind of stored and waiting. So I have these little, I take little boxes and I pour my beads and I put little cups and my stuff in beads. But let's, let's, let's do this. So this is like a lavender. Oh my gosh. Why is this so much fun? Okay. That's pretty. I think I kind of want maybe like white. What do I want white? We'll just see. We shall see. This is entirely too easy and too fun of an outcome. I don't know. Do I want pink on it? Do I want multicolored? Look at your options. So this is just a plain white bubblegum bead. Oh, that has a that has a little hook in it. Oh my gosh. I just don't know. Decisions, decisions, right? I love this bead. My daughter doesn't like the polka dot beads. How crazy is that? Like I must have looked at her like she had two heads when she said that. I was like, what? Oh my gosh, that's pretty. Or I really want this one in there. Oh my gosh. Maybe flip it around. Make it look just right. What is this taking me? Like two minutes? Maybe less? Guys, that's seriously the cutest thing ever. Writes great. Oh, this one doesn't write as dark, but there it goes. These write really nice. And let's see, you just... Um, well, how fantastic is that? How absolutely fantastic is that? I absolutely love these. Oh my gosh, guys. So, the store... Okay, so for those beatable pins, and they have lots of choices. You could get, I think I may have picked the smallest choice. They may have sold them in less, but they had, like, you could buy 24. You can buy, and the more you bought, the less expensive it was, but that is so elegant. How beautiful would this be on, um, like, an office desk? Oh, my gosh, and how cute is that? Whip this out at the bank and people will be like, where'd you get that pen? Um, I made it. Well, anyways, I hope you guys like this. Um, again, I'm having way too much fun in my craft room. And thanks for watching. And I will see you with what I come up with next. Hopefully my Michaels organizational bins will be here and I can organize some of the these bees. I don't think... I don't think there's anything for these guys. I think they need to stay in their boxes. But if anybody does know how to organize these without buying some large system, please let me know in the comments. All right. Thanks for watching. Bye.